Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate the contact between Denny Hamlin and Chase Elliott in the 2017 Phoenix playoff race that ultimately cut Denny's tire and took him out of playoff contention, taking him out of the round of the Final Four. Thank you very much again for joining in right off the bat. If you guys could please hit the uh, like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. While you're doing that, if you also want to go check out my Twitch channel, I'm streaming there, as you can see, as we speak. If it is more convenient for you to watch these streams that way, you can go do that. If you also want to help support this channel and get some cool rewards in return, also go check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy for your support on there. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to follow me on social media, enough with my shameless plugs. We are going to get right into the reenacting. All right. So as you saw by the little GIF video in the wait screen, if you didn't see the race, coming out of turn four, uh, Chase Elliott was trying to pass Denny Hamlin, racing him hard. Needless to say, there's plenty of memories of a few weeks prior when... Denny Hamlin took out Chase Elliott at Martinsville, basically ruining Chase's hopes of making it into the next round. So Chase was racing him hard with that in mind, put him into the turn four wall. Denny had a tire rub about a half dozen laps later, blew the tire down the back stretch and went into the wall. I'm using a, a makeshift 2017 uh, playoff paint scheme or uh, car set. That hasn't really been released yet. It's just a mix of a bunch of different cars I've downloaded from various sources. So, that is that. Oh, we just saw Hamlin go by. I don't have all the correct cars, and I don't have a full field. It's just some cars that I've been able to find from later in the season. So, we saw Denny Hamlin go by. We're going to wait for him to come back around the back stretch. We're going to race him hard for a couple laps. And we're going to try to pass him. Coming out of turn four. And we're going slow on purpose because we're waiting for Denny Hamlin to show up. And he's seven seconds behind me. And going slow on purpose. Got Danica Patrick. Ian White, Alex, Sarah, Stream Cheese, Anthony, a Dale Jr. fan. Thanks for joining in, guys. I really appreciate it. And here we go. Hamlin's right here. Oops. I I roll it first. I think I have traction control on XM, just because I'm not accidentally. Just uh, without thinking about it from uh, the last time I tried racing, because I'm using the controller instead of the wheel, because my pedals are out of commission at the moment. So I'm going to let Denny pass. Remember, he's racing hard for a couple laps. And going into turn, coming out of turn four, passing the road. Oops. I know Chase gave Denny a few shots. I know it wasn't, none of them were quite that <laughs> hard. Past the busher and then start with the reenacting. Done a couple bumps going into turn one and two. I think I need to pull traction control off. It's slowing me down too much. I don't have a good acceleration coming out of the turns. I think I can turn this on low and this. I was having frames per second issues earlier, but my sh I shut my computer off like. About half an hour before the stream started, so I think we're good. Right, so I'm gonna race Denny really hard. This next lap, and then I'll try. Fuck! Alright, I guess I'm keeping uh, the pit crews and the shadows from structures off. Because the game just crashed when I tried turning the graphic settings back up. Alright, at least 
At least it didn't crash the player profile and I wouldn't have to restart all my settings. At least it didn't do that. But right away. Going back to here. Turning this back to none. And checking this off. Those two things usually help a bunch with frames per second issues. For the record, if anyone's ever wondered. Alright, so we're just going to go into race mode. Just simulate halfway through the race just to get the field spread out. And we're in race mode so we can have people in the stands. Obviously. Oh, there goes Denny. Again. So we're going to have to wait a whole nother lap. I got the Bears and Eagles game on in the background. Eagles are looking good this year. Not gonna lie. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Oh, apparently I was speeding in pit lane. Who cares? Like they have Denny crashed in a few laps. God damn it. That was totally my fault. Terrible driving on my part. Oh, here comes Hamlin. I can. Shit. God damn it. That's not what I meant to do. It always seems the easiest streams on the surface are actually the most difficult for me. I feel like I overthink them. Keep it under 45. Keep it under 3,500 in seconds. Okay, I suppose I should turn the volume up so I can hear what the pit speed is. I think it's 35. Okay, here comes Hamlin about six seconds back. Sweet. I won't have to wait nearly as long this time. seconds back here. So we'll go just a tad slow this next lap to have Denny catch up and then we will we'll start the battle. This, is, this whole battle almost reminded me of the whole uh, Logano versus Penza thing back in 2015 at Martinsville. Ironically, it was also Martinsville where Denny took out Chase Elliott. Fast. Gotta start racing hard. Give a couple shots. And yes, I will reenact the Denny dumping Chase Elliott thing too. I just wanted to do this one first. Shoot. I need to learn how to drive on my own first before I can take out Denny Hamlin. Still have a lot of them. Issues controlling my car using the stand controller. I missed my force feedback wheel and having the pedals get sent in under warranty. I think I covered. I covered off all the paperwork and everything. Ooh, chat is froze. Sorry, I forgot to click back on it. There we go. Sorry, guys. My bad. If I restart the game and I have the game window load back up and I forget to click back on the chat window to refresh it. Like Alright, right here, this is the lap I'll try doing the bump and run in turn four. Okay. Shot. Get him to the inside. And I'll run him high into the wall. Shoot, that actually wasn't bad at all, except I hit the wall too. I mean, that was a decent first attempt, but we'll have to do that again because obviously Chase didn't hit the wall in real life. That was a good practice for the first one. Let's see if we can take up Ratchet Wall Street. Boom. Oh, we got a rollover at Phoenix. Alright, let's take a look at that replay, though, first. I mean, that was pretty good. I just need to not hit the wall next time. I 
shoot. I mean, do I even save that or no? I don't. I don't need to save that. All right, because I will have a good attempt and a better attempt in no time. Once again, I'm just starting up the race, accelerating it a bit so the field gets a little spread out. And then I will spawn myself in. Keep it under 45. Keep it and the reason under I'm in race mode, which is just practice or happy hour like I usually do, is because the stands are empty in this version of the track during practice and happy hour. Alright, I saw Denny Hamlin go by, so I'm going to go really slow to have him catch up back to me. Going super slow on purpose right now because I'm waiting for Denny to catch back up behind me. Nerva Flow, Micro Gaming, Magnar, Scream G, thanks for joining guys. Really appreciate it. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. God damn it. My, I just heard my DSLR camera restart, which I use for my webcam. AC adapter I have for it is a little glitchy sometimes, so if it just did what I think it did, I think I'm probably all blue now because the white thing wants to reset. I'll fix after this attempt. There's Denny. I'm going like super slow on purpose and I'm still not behind him. Here we go. Oh, we got a bunch of traffic to deal with while trying to do this. Whoa! <laughs> Let's try this. I gotta get past this. 66 first. Get past a little bit of this traffic before we start doing the reenacting. Obviously, Denny's the fastest car. He's lapping these guys. Number 34. Larson. We got the battle for the lead right here. Between Kyle Larson and Denny Hamlin. Look at that. Whoa. We are three wide on the front stretch. I'm giving plenty of shots to Denny. We got Paul Menard right behind me. We got Joey Logano in front of us, I think. Alright, once we get past these last two lap cars, we'll start. So this next lap, I'll do the attempts. So I'm going to give Denny some shots. If you're going to downshift in the turns, you can do that at quicker acceleration. And now the turns. Alright, so here, this is where I'm going to try doing the bump and run. Nope, we'll try the next lap after we get past the 31. All right, this lap we'll try it. So Denny's car is all damaged already. So that's not good. That's not good. him a couple times, move him up the track. No! Darn it. I knew something like that was eventually going to happen. We got a big one on the front stretch. And I'm pausing on purpose. <laughs> Spun myself out that time. Darn it. Oops. Missed the play button there. Alright, let's take a look at the replay of my fail right here. Tried to bump him up the track. Move him. I just got really loose and spun myself out. Trying to make the move a little too early. Alright, we shall try again. Official attempt number three. Alright, so we're getting like an attempt in every five minutes or so. 
Limit 45. Okay, Keep it under 3,500. All right, no one's really lapped anyone yet, so that's good. All right, I can go nice and slow. Plus, I think the speed limit's 35 anyway. Tipped and the dude still caught it. That actually looks like a fourth down. They should challenge that. Or a first down. Going slow on purpose, waiting for Denny to catch up. He was about eight seconds back. Slow on purpose. Let's ride a lap around Phoenix on board with Chase Elliott. Bush and his, and his caramel paint scheme. Shoot. Took a turn really high. Kept it off the wall, though. All right. Then he is two seconds back. Chase view, no pun intended. That's slow on purpose just to let them go by. It looks like he's passing all those guys. So now I gotta catch up to Denny. Yeah, this feels like Mac comes in 2015, because he was like laps down. Chase Mac, you're all the way down. Oh no. The right front side where they start to go. Alright, I'll try the bump and run in turn four right here. It looks like we got some decent room around everyone else. Alright, so down, check out, don't bump it too hard. Bump him up the track. Come on. Get the contact perfect. Lit a little bit. I mean, I got kind of loose, but I kept it off the wall and I got Denny into the wall. I'll save that as attempt number one. Take a look at that attempt, because that one wasn't bad. I just got a little too squirrely coming out of that than I would have liked to, but I still kept it off the wall and got him into it, so it's still a positive attempt. I got very, very squirrely, but I mean, I'll still save it. Not bad for a third attempt. I'll say that much. See my right front tire starting to go. I barely nicked the wall there. I'm just chasing after Denny. Going to turns one and two. He's still nipping at his heels. He has a run on the four, but then the four gets a good run coming out of turn two. Chase right on Denny's rear bumper. Going into turns three and four. He pushes him up the track. Chase makes his move. He makes contact with Denny, sends him into the outside wall. Chase drives on. Not terrible, but I want an attempt where I'm a little less squirrely coming out of turn four. Chase. Denny. Attempt one. Foe is short for Phoenix. If you guys are wondering. Alright, so let's try attempt number four. 
So that one wasn't bad at all. I just want to get a little less loose coming out of the turn after the contact is made. Slow down because I think I was speeding there for a little bit. Where is Danny? Okay, you're clear of it's 14 lane. seconds back. He's in second to Kyle Larson. I believe that was the exact same situation in real life. to let Cameron catch up. He's three seconds back with Kyle Busch about a half second behind him. So hopefully he won't be in the way. And I'll speed up. Let Danny pass me, but stay right behind him. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. So we will try the contact this lap. Going to push him up the track going into turns three and four. Check up in turn four so I don't hit him too hard. All right. Shoot. Instead. Here comes the leader. I wish a bigger pileup would have happened from that. Took out Kyle Bush right away too. <laughs> and Chase Elliott just in a rage trying to take out anyone else. He gets Eric Jones. I want to see one more replay of that. That would have been way more exciting almost if that happened. If Chase took out both Denny and himself. Alright, let's try that again. Ten seconds back, eight seconds back. Let's see if I can get out of the pits and beat him without speeding. I think so. Perfect. Come on, so I can wreck you. Perfect. And you can pass me right here. Hard for a lap. On the inside. Need to get him away from the floor a little bit. Oh darn it! Holy crap! I somehow kept that off the wall. All right, so we're just gonna wait for Denny to catch back up. By the way, that's why I turned yellow flags off. There was no yellow flag that actually came out until Denny went into the wall later. And besides, every time I spin out, I didn't want to ruin that attempt. Man, I saw that replay. How did I keep that off the wall? Right, waiting for Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny. Five seconds back. I know this is boring when I'm waiting for him to catch up, but it should only be three more seconds. Then he pass on the inside. Alright, so this will be the lap right here. The lap of contact. Bump him once or twice, one of the turns one and two. Possibly. I don't even know if he did or not. Oh, 
mean to get on that sideways. We'll just have to cut that part out. We'll do the same thing in turns three and four. Bump them up the track. No, we're hooked. Darn it. Well, that backfired. Holy crap. Daniel Suarez just went completely underneath me. for it. Chase's rage kicks in and he just goes reverse right in across the field. Directly underneath me goes the 19 of Daniel Suarez. This will be a shot right here. Huh. It looks like that would have like taken out the camera but nothing else on the car. Alright, try that again. Sadly, that one where I got way too loose coming out of the turn is the best attempt I've gotten so far. This stream is far from over. Shoot, I was just speeding there. Let's hope I got slowed down enough to have it not count. I think so, yeah, no black flag. Right, where's Hamlin? 13 seconds back. Man, Larson just way ahead of the rest of the field, like usual. Six seconds back. Just waiting for Hamlin to catch up. Right, here he is. This will be the lap. Get out of here, Almondinger. You're going to ruin things, like you always do. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, AJ. So you are kind of ruining this right now. Right, stay away in turns three and four. It should be a fine attempt. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sit down. Get up. Myself out and ruin the attempt. Perhaps I get drilled by Chris Busher. Probably get drilled by someone else right around here. Out of frustration, continue to pile up into innocent cars. Paul Menard, Daniel Suarez, Joey Logano, etc. All right. Car inside. I'm losing focus. <laughs> I want to see a replay of that rollover, though. There's one view I, one more view I want to see this from. The back of Chris Busher. This should be interesting. Oh. All right, next. Couldn't have been any more well timed if I tried. Right, we'll go one more lap and we will try the infamous bump and run heard around the world. Shoot, I accidentally listed the track as Kansas, my bad. That was from the previous stream that I copied the info from as a template. contact there, so we're going to have to wait another lap. This next 
lap will be a good attempt. Give us more bump there or two. Wasn't perfect, but I'll save it as attempt number two. You can always cut out that first part because the first part wasn't great. But that was slightly better contact into the wall and the recovery, at least on my part, than the first attempt I saved. Whoa, speaking of saves. Oops. <laughs> All right. I want to see this replay real quick and then we'll go back and look at the Denny versus Chase contact. Ouch. Busher would probably have a headache after that. Back to the Denny and Chase contact. All right. Because I made the move, I think, a little too late. And yeah, the first part wasn't that great, but right around here, it's good. From here on out, contact is there. And that one wasn't bad, was it? And I know Kyle Bush was somewhere in the mix, I think. All right, so I'll save that as attempt number two. I'll save this whole lap. I actually want to get a view of this from Kyle Bush. Go for it. So far, so good. Yeah, right there it starts pretty good. Not too shabby. I mean, definitely savable. I'll keep going. Until I kill Busher. All right, Elliot versus Hamlin. Oh, attempt two. I think I named it something slightly different the first attempt, but it doesn't matter as long as both are saved. All right, get about a half dozen laps in. Danny and Kyle Bush, they just passed, so which means we should be able to time that. I'm coming up on the next lap pretty good. Eagles, 24-0. Holy crap. They are spanking the Bears. Spanking them and leaving with a raw, chafed hiney. <laughs> Hamlin and Bush are neck and neck. Make it tricky. Yeah, I'll let Bush go a little bit. I'll keep Danny. Denny held back. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be the good attempt, I can feel it. This is the lap. Ooh, that was close. Now yeah, make the contact right. There we go. No, I got loose. Shoot. 
that sucked. I want a big pile up. I got Chris Busher two separate times. Here comes the leader. Wait for it. There's a hit. Got Newman. And Suarez had nowhere to go. Yeah, the first part of the contact was perfect, but I... My shitty driving, I got loose and accidentally went up into Denny. Right there. A little too jittery with the joystick right there. That's what she said. Alright, next attempt. Poor Busher, he gives... No, not abandoned. There we go. Chris Busher keeps being an innocent bystander. He keeps getting taken out. Darn it. Okay, he was for a second, I think. Alright, so a little further up than me, but I think I can catch him in a few laps. That would be cheating. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll have caught in two laps. I have the AI difficulty turned fairly low for these reenactments for this very reason. Because I have some errors I need to catch up quickly. Yeah, I'll have him caught in the next lap. Or even this one. I'll probably try the contact in turn four of this lap. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do, because I haven't caught. Awesome. Alright. So good. Oh! <laughs> Danny didn't hit the wall, and I spun out. It's a double failure. Two cars flipping. Jamie Mack and I didn't see who else it was. The other car that was flipping is propped on the side up along the pit wall. Darn it. There's more failure on my part in this video than I thought there was going to be. Alright, the game just crashed again, but luckily our previous two decent attempts are saved. All right, and luckily, it didn't crash the player profile either again, so no harm, no foul. I can just get right into it. So I can't save anything from that attempt. I just have to go into the next one. Drivers. Limit 45, keep it under 3,500 in seconds. We will never know who the other car flipping was. Well, I'm sure the replay. I'm sure I can find out if I take a good look at the replay. All right, where is Hamlin? Okay, you're clear of pit lane. There he is. Twelve seconds back. He's got almond ding dong right on his bumper. <coughs> Excuse me. I ruined another attempt. 
The almond nigga. Just for getting in the way, you're getting taken out right here. You're welcome. It's all your fault. Wait for it. Here comes the leader. Yay! I got hit. I don't think anyone was gonna hit me down there. Alright, let's try that again. So, in my opinion, I think the second attempt was the best. I don't know if it was quite usable. Alright, there's Danny Sweet. He's got a decent gap between him and the other cars. I definitely just got caught speeding there. Unless I slow down way. Oh. Nope, they didn't catch me. <clears throat> Alright, where's Denny? Waiting for Denny, looking at the bottom right in those standings. There he is, seven seconds back and closing. Except he's coming up on a lap. Oh, I can't get in there. Keep it off the wall. Alright, keep going. No harm, no foul. Don't pit. I'm gonna see you use this attempt. I'm still trying to tempt this lap as long as it doesn't pit. I don't think it is actually. As long as he doesn't pick this lap, we can try again. As long as it's a race, he might not pick the money that comes out this lap. Track. There we go. There's more of Denny's rear that hits uh, Denny. Oh, darn it. Again. Darn it. I knew I was going to screw this one up one way or another. Man, I killed my car. Got put to the outside wall. I was trying to bump him. Looks like they turned him. I wasn't even trying to bump him, I just happened to get into him. I'm recreating a lot of what if scenarios in this video. What could have happened? Keep it under 45. Keep it under 3500. Two seconds. Where is him? Okay, you're real Danny, where are you? Is he in second? Twenty fifth. Not a bad race. All right, well, to save some time, I'm trying to contact right here. I have a good setup.
Got a little loose beforehand, but that was probably the best contact so far. Out of all the attempts. This, this contact. I mean, I got loose beforehand, but is that a bad attempt? Or is that too... Does that look too bad? With me getting loose right there. I guess I can save it as attempt three. that first part again. Possibly. Alright, so that's attempt three. Alright, Elliot. Versus Hamlin. Ooh, attempt three. Alright, this is time for probably three or four more attempts. Oops. I want to accelerate. Drivers to your car. Limit 45. Keep it under. I'm speeding and getting the black flag. I don't care just because I'm trying to beat Hamlin off pit road this time. Okay, you're clear of pit road. See the black flag in the game. There's not too many other cars around this, but it's still like two thirds of a full field on the track, technically. So it's kind of spaced out for me. Do you guys believe me if I told you I didn't mean to do that? <laughs> Two separate flips in the same crash. Whoops. That was kind of what Denny did to Hamlin at Martin. Or, uh, Denny did to Hamlin. Denny did to uh, Elliot at Martinsville. Denny gets hit hard right there. He gets hit hard again by the 15. Alright, so obviously that one was no good. Two around lap seven or eight is usually good. There goes Hamlin. Go slow and wait for him on the next lap. By the way, as long as nothing unexpected comes up. Later tonight, I should be streaming again in about four hours. So like I said, not quite for sure, but hopefully okay, nothing unexpected comes light. up and I should still be able to stream. I'll be trying to recreate Scott Dixon's 2017 in the 500 flip. So I finally got tired of waiting for a paint scheme to come out and said screw it and made a rough one myself. Go away, you lowly lapped 
car. Here we go. Perfect setup. I've run down a couple times, running up the track. Just have to shoot that around up too much. Let's salvage this attempt. Slow down, don't hit him yet. No shift. Good run. Good run out of the turn. Fourth. Slow down. Shake him up a little bit. So far, so good. <laughs> Jesus. Who was that that hit me? Was that David Reagan for me insulting him? Was that his payback? I think that was David Reagan actually. I'm 38. Yeah. I'm insulting David Reagan and then he T-bones me and sends me upside down. I spun myself out on that one. I had it just about saved until that happened. <laughs> Alrighty, try that again. So far, I still think the second attempt is the best one that I saved. It's the only one I would actually wouldn't mind trying to edit to see how it looks. Limit 45. You know, you guys vote. Samuel, Jessica, Bonzi, okay, Stream Cheese, thanks for joining in, guys. I really appreciate it. Chase Elliott for that movie put on Hamlin and was able to save it himself. I'm taking out half the field with me. There we go, there's the flip. <laughs> the leader's pitting now. That one was looking close until I spun myself out again. Trying to get Hamlin into the wall. I got Eric Jones, Ryan Blaney, and Jimmy, and Kurt. He's barely missed Newman. I got Kyle Larson. Clipped, I think that was McDowell. I got the 15. Is that Sorensen? All right. 
is probably gonna be the last attempt or so because I gotta get going soon if I'm gonna try to stream twice today I got some stuff to do in between and I'm gonna do that one right at 6 so it can be done at 7 for the Packer game I don't even know why I'm watching that I'm a realistic Packer fan I'm very hopeful and I really hope the Packers win but I also don't think they're going to they're just outmatched. Okay, you're don't have A-Rod and all the flaws of the rest of the team that I've known about for a while are finally being exposed to the rest of the world. I'm still watching, but it's gonna be it's gonna be ugly at worst. Surprising at best. Come on, Hamlin. traffic around us as there was in real life, but there's still other cars around. There's people on the stands. The contact was perfect. The move was perfect. Denny's contact into the wall was perfect, I think. Ooh, I almost lost it there. I just needed to get away from Denny a little bit, just to... I mean, I think I... That attempt was pretty good without needing to really split up any parts. And then on my own, I'll probably record the part of Denny's tire going and then him just going into the wall. But the contact that Chase makes with Denny is the main part I was going for in this video. I think I just got it. Alright, so I got myself a little bit away from Denny this time. Please, God, do not have the game crash before the replay is saved. So I'm just recording this whole lap. All right, so Chase giving a couple bumps to Denny right on his bumper. I mean, there are other cars around. There was just a little bit of gap in front and behind us of the other cars. All right, so I bump Denny, run him up the track, trying to make a move on the inside, trying to make that inside stick by slide up the track. Get into there. I force Denny into the wall. All right, I think that is probably the best attempt in my opinion. Jesus, type. Four, all right. Gonna do a backwards big one. Then I'm gonna get your guys' vote. Drivers, Which one do you want me to edit? Oh, that's a glitch. Green flag coming up. 
before the pace cars even go away. I remember this happening in this version of this track when I was trying to do my championship series. backwards to the big one and then get your guys' vote on which one you want me to edit, if any at all. I'd say this was a successful live stream. I'm gonna let Larson go. I'm just gonna get the big cluster right here. Oh, we got a car upside down at the end. We got people cars driving under cars. Yeah, I got Denny. Look at that. I think it was, yeah, it was Menard that went upside down right at the end right there. Alright. Into the replay studio. Come on. Hurry up. Need to check my fantasy scores after this live stream too. Oh my god, this is taking so long to load. It's because my game recently crashed. There we go. Right down to Phoenix. Chase versus Denny, yeah. Alright, so this is the first attempt. I knew I named it something different the first time. All right, so here's my first attempt. That's the one where I got really squirrely coming out. I'll have to rewatch the replay. No, yeah, he definitely didn't get that loose in real life. So that's attempt number one. Here is attempt number two. Which I think was the second best up until the last one. And I think one reason that this might be really close for first as well is that this one I got a couple other cars around us close by. Alright, so that's attempt number two. In my opinion, that one had the lead until the last attempt, and the last attempt, I think, barely nudged out this one. But I like how there's other cars close by, like the, there's some other racing traffic near us when that one happens. So let me know between two, then we'll watch three, but I don't think three is in contention. I think it's a close battle between two and four. And I think I did good enough on both of those to where I don't need to do a part two for the live stream itself. So I'm just gonna have two options in the voting in the comments once the video is done processing. I'm gonna have you guys vote on attempt two or attempt four. I mean, here's three, I just don't remember it being that great. Yeah, cause I got really loose first. Yeah, I didn't like this one as much cause I get loose right there before we're even into the wall. All right, so that's three. And last but not least, the one we just recorded is four. So like I said, just wait till the comments are in the live video once it's done processing. When the comments show up, I will post two comments asking you to edit for either attempt two, or uh, if you want me to edit attempt number four, then make sure you thumbs up which attempt you want to vote for. That way I know which one I want you I can know which one you guys want to see me edit. Alright, so here's this. Makes the bump, makes the pass. I guess I got Harvick up there, so... Alright, then. Hamlin into the wall and Chase pulls away. Alright, so that's attempt number four. Thanks so much again for watching, guys. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. 
Check me out on social media if you want to follow behind the scenes stuff and also get uh, bonus notifications for when I am streaming. Be sure to uh, follow me on Twitch if you want to watch the live streams that way. And if you'd like to help support this channel and get some cool rewards in return, please uh, go check out my Patreon page. Thanks again to Ryan Fitzy for your support on there. And two out of the three contest winners have not yet gotten back to me. So, uh, Creener, no. Yeah, Creener and NASCAR Nation, the account names, Creener and NASCAR Nation, please get back to me either on YouTube or social media, and we can arrange how I can get the, the diecast sent out to you. And that's about it for today, guys. Should be streaming later today if nothing else comes up, so stay tuned for that one, Scott Dixon's 2017 Indianapolis flip. And thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. In the meantime, hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.